Hi, this is the presentation for my action research project that I undertook in final module of my postgraduate course on teaching and academic practice, which is a requirement for gaining fellowship of Higher Education Academy in the UK. I thank my teaching team of Dr. Michael Seary, Sarah Stracy, and Dr. Sarah Bird for their guidance and support in this. My discussions with fellow colleagues at Cardiff Metropolitan University and other universities across the world also helped me in immensely in my teaching practice. Now I start my presentation. My name is Dr. Sharad Gupta and I'm a senior lecturer at Cardiff Metropolitan University. To give you the module teaching context, this is a module on business to business marketing, uh, which I have taught in uh, postgraduate programs for more than five years. I took seminars of this module last year in undergraduate course at my university. And this was the first time that I was leading this module in undergraduate programs. I used the research framework given by McNiff in which we do action research in different cycles. So my this cycle of plan, act and observe and then reflect will actually help me in getting some inputs for cycle two. So this is what I learned during my module at Cardiff Metropolitan University. Action research offers benefits for student engagement that is established in the literature. So in this part, I detected the issue of low student engagement in week four and week five. This I found out using self-reflection and a survey and some focus groups. Then I crafted a solution to implement this which included some changes in the lecture format. Then I observed the changes in the students engagement through some more focus groups to end class participation. Then I reflected at the end of the module that students were learning more actively and the class was more engaged. Now I go into details of this action research project. My aim was to improve my student engagement in the module. And my research question was to how, how can I really improve my student engagement? The reasons of my research project were varying student engagement across lectures and seminars, which I found through self-reflection, mid-module survey and post-survey focus groups. The purpose of this research project was my need to increase the student engagement during lectures for improving their learning and performance. And I took the value as basis for planning to take this action. And this value was the high standards of connecting with students and enhancing their learning across my modules. Again, this is a framework which is given by MacNiff. In terms of ethical considerations, students were informed about this action research at the start. They were reminded about the purpose while collecting data also. Students were assured of anonymity of data. Student names were not linked with any response or focus groups. Students were free to take part or opt out of the focus groups. Students agreed to share their aggregated responses for all the observations that I have made. So in terms of planning, after four weeks of teaching uh, this module in undergraduate uh, course, I actually uh, reflected that students participated very actively in seminars, but not so much in their lectures. So I decided to take a mid-module feedback in week five itself to remedy this. And the mid-module student survey also actually showed, uh, you know, that there were so certain areas to improve, uh, like students asked for more engaging content and they said that lectures can be a bit overwhelming with all the information. And they also said that, you know, if I can be a little more funny in the class, that will actually help. Uh, so I'm not really focusing on the best features of the module with where, you know, students actually talked about uh, uh, that they could get good opportunity for feedback and showcase their work and they really like the content as such. So I shared this feedback with the class immediately in the class and then I promised to act in the next class. So after two days, after collecting this mid-module survey, I also conducted three focus groups where I discussed this feedback. And my intention was to really involve students in action research plan. And I explained my plan of action research that I, I will be using this for, for my program, which I'm doing for gaining fellowship of higher education later on. And I took their consent. So students suggested that I should ask some more questions in the lectures maybe on platforms like Mentimeter, Padlet or Kahoot. And I should also include some more examples in the lecture. 
I also explained that reducing content in this module is actually a long-term action and I actually started my discussions with the program director. We would incorporate that in terms of shifting some of the content to level 4 or level 5 again after taking some more student feedback and some more discussion with the, with the faculty members. So then I changed my lecture format. So uh, this was my cycle one of action research, which I started from my week six class onwards, where I actually used more quizzes in the classes using Mentimeter, Padlet and MS forms for, for different variety, where I actually included QR code based three question quizzes. So these were very small quizzes and these focused on some key concepts. During the class itself, we used to discuss the answers to these questions also in a funny way. And in these classes, I included more examples. So this also helped me in getting some more work for my next cycle of action research, uh, which is to reduce the module content. And then I will also use quizzes and more examples regularly in the class. And then I can see whether I can continue this thing in my next, my next cycle of action research also. So there were certain inclusiveness measures that I took, which is that, you know, I actually took examples from diverse perspectives and which were more culturally relevant to different students. And I also involved students in designing this intervention. I provided alternative uh, communication methods so that students of uh, diverse learning needs, they can actually access all these quizzes and different examples. So after the intervention, then I observed through three focus groups and did my own observations. So these focus groups also showed now the classes were more, in their words, they were more happening. And they said that, yes, these are more interesting, especially the lectures. And they say that, you know, now because of the questions, there is less time to drift off. They said that all these visualizations, these things actually help. And they in fact said that even seminars have become more useful. So what I observed that now, almost half of the class started participation participating in the class discussion as compared to you know less than 10 percent earlier and there were uh, a few funny moments also in the class while discussing the quiz answers so uh, here i could actually see that yes student engagement was uh, increasing so when i actually reflect on whole of this exercise i can see that there was enhanced comprehension and the examples actually provided more real world relevance so students could actually relate to the concepts using quiz questions and there was more active learning students were actually understanding concepts better and their retention was also probably higher because after classes when I used to discuss with them they could actually relate to many concepts and I also saw that there was increased motivation in the second half of the module possibly because uh, these quizzes stimulated their curiosity I generally saw that students appear to be happier after the lectures you know, as compared to others. And similarly, these lectures became more fulfilling to me as well. So overall, if I say lectures actually became more engaging after the intervention, if I see in terms of co-creation uh, that I used in this action research, I could see that student voice actually provided as a feedback that really started this whole action research project. I also involved students in seminar activities and class discussions. I used student consultations. I will use students as partners in my next cycle of action research, where I will discuss with them about, uh, how, about shifting some of the content to level four and level five. I also identify certain barriers to learning, which are like, you know, there are variable learning preferences and some students may not have preferred the increased interactivity and engagement. It might not have fully accommodated the diverse learning needs of all these students and there might be cognitive overload because sometimes some students feel that you know there are so many quiz questions and it may actually overwhelm them they may struggle to process some information and also uh, there were uh, some students from non-native english speaking backgrounds they might have faced challenges though i made all the efforts to make it easier for them i could say that yes nobody actually asked any questions and they didn't say that you know they couldn't understand but still that that can be one of the limitation uh, also if some students did not know some of the prerequisite concepts some knowledge then this could really hinder their ability to engage with the material if i see future scope of this research it actually helps in uh, finding some more avenues for next action research cycle 
uh, which is that I can actually find out the impact of updating this module next year and then uh, impact of adding content to level 5 modules with student inputs and similarly adding this content to level 4 module. So if I see this in conclusion, this intervention started due to self-reflection and student feedback and three focus uh, groups of students, they shaped up the intervention. This in intervention impact was again found uh, through three focus group and observations. I can say this, that this intervention helped in increasing student engagement through active learning, enhanced comprehension and greater well-being. And this intervention also helped in finding avenues for next cycle of action research. I really thank my tutors and my colleagues and everybody at Cardiff Metropolitan University to really help me in doing this whole course of postgraduate teaching academic. Thank you everyone.